G'day, 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 it's Cody Orgle here. Coming to you guys with a video. Now, I wasn't actually planning to do a video today. Uh, I was just wanted to just go thrifting, uh, make myself some money, but I did hit it pretty big, so I thought why not do a quick video and um, I'll just show you guys what I got today. Um, so currently, um, I'm driving the car as you can see, but I did hit up three savers. Now, where I live, savers, are quite spread out and there's only like four in the whole state I live in. The very first one that I hit up, so that one was the closest one to where I live and they had absolutely nothing there. So I thought, all right, since I got nothing at that one, I thought I might as well just go to the next one and see what else I can get, at least make my day worthwhile. I hit up that Savers and what I got at that Savers was a Guitar Hero controller for the Wii console. Um, I paid five dollars with a five percent discount, so I'll make thirty bucks on that. And then the last item I picked up in that savers was a Paul and Shark vintage sweater. Now these things go for quite a lot of money. Um, even anything Paul and Shark is actually quite expensive for resale value. Um, and I picked it up. I don't know why, but. Most of the savers around my area seem to price vintage stuff really cheap because I think it's just old junk or whatever. I don't know what the theory is behind it. However, I got this sweater fairly cheap actually. Size large, um, it's got like nice green, it's got all the cool Paul and Shark colored patterns to it and it's got the Paul and Shark embroidery on the front and um, I, I picked this up. I don't know, I couldn't find one exactly the same on the complete listings but I'm going to at least shoot for about 40 to 50 dollars for this then went a bit further down the road and i hit up another savers and if you can see what's behind me right now you notice that i have a bike in the back so the bike i got is a uh, woman's bike actually um it's set up to be like a mountain bike but it's got like almost it's got almost road bike tires but they're not you know real chunky mountain bike ones either so it's kind of a cyclocross but it's not really so this thing is a cypress it's called a giant Cypress 3 um, women's bike on a men's bike normally the frame the top of the frame goes straight across but a woman's one bends down um, So as you can see that one does and it's actually a really nice color. Um, it's a nice purple color It has a bit of surface rust on the handlebars and um, The chain has a bit of rust um, And some rust on some bolts and stuff um, That should be easily fixed. Maybe I'll just try and sand that off However, um, they wanted $60 for this bike, so I was able to get 20% off that bike um, and also picked up about three other clothing items and also a um, steering wheel, which I'll quickly talk about soon. But still talking about this bike, um, I got it 20% off, they wanted $60, so I paid uh, $48 for it. Now, I looked up on the completed listings on eBay just to get an understanding of what price range I was selling for. Um, and the Cypress brand women's bikes were going f anywhere from 100 um, all the way up to about 300. Now I have to do further research to um, pinpoint the exact amount I could possibly get for this bike. Um, I was probably going to list it on eBay and also on Gumtree as well, just for local sale. Yeah, but I'm going to try maybe 200. I don't know. I'll see how we go. I want to try and get the rust off and all that stuff first. Hopefully. Yeah, I should get it sold, but giant bikes have a really good demand, so this bike should definitely sell pretty good. Um, and also, at the savers that I picked up the bike, I got um, some clothing items, as I said before. Okay, so I'm just pulling up to a Salvos right now. I'm just going to quickly call in and see what they've got. I haven't been to this one in quite a while, so hopefully we should find something. But I'm just hitting this one up on the way through. Okay, guys, so no luck in that Salvos right there. But um, anyway, I picked up a Ralph Lauren uh, Merino wool, 100% Merino wool sweater, like a quarter, yeah, quarter zip up sweater. Um, it's really nice. They wanted like $13 for it, but with my 20% off, um, I picked it up for around $11. Um, so I got that one. Um, and then that one probably will sell for $40, maybe even $50. We'll see. And then I just picked up a generic um, polo shirt by Ralph Lauren, um, a custom fit one. It was size large. And then I picked up a Ralph Lauren again, button front, short sleeve, um, classic fit, size small, I think, shirt. And again, that one 
probably get like $20, $30 for it. And then the last item that I picked up at that Sabres was a um, PlayStation 3 um, gaming steering wheel and pedals. So I actually owned a pair of these exact PlayStation 3 steering wheel and pedals. I actually sold the steering wheel that I had and I managed to get $40 for it. Now it's nothing fancy in regards to like a brand name or anything. It's not like anything like Logitech or anything like that. It's actually like a really cheap brand. However, steering wheel and pedals do sell pretty good anyway um, for, you know, the PlayStation 3 or Xbox or whatever. But yeah, I'm going to put this one up for the same price that I got for the one that I sold, which was about $40. And I paid $8 for um, this steering wheel, so I should be able to make some money on that one. And also, just over the road from the savers that I hit up, I hit up a Vinnie's also. And I picked up um, a couple of shirts. I got a nice vintage Lacoste Live uh, polo shirt. These normally sell for about $29 or something like that. And I got this one for $5. So it's a really nice dark red one. Um, quite, You can tell it's vintage because it has that Lacoste Live logo. And the last item I picked up that Vinnie's was a uh, button front long sleeve Ralph Lauren Blake shirt. So this was a really nice shirt. It had the pink and white stripes. I was just going to put this one up for about $18 on a starting bid price. It should sell for $30 plus. But it's always good to put these shirts up at a bid because sometimes people um, go crazy over certain patterns. And from my past experience, I put one of these up for $18 and it sold for $61, which is pretty ridiculous. So I still go by that rule just in case, you know, because I'm happy to at least get make $10 off the shirt. But I'm also happy to make $50 off the shirt just in case people have that crazy demand for it. So, yeah, guys, that's uh, it for today's video. Yeah, I wasn't going to make a video as I said before, but I thought, you know, I've done pretty well. Why not just share my success and um, hopefully you guys can learn from this? But I was going to go garage sailing today because I watched the Bonafide Hustlers video, um, Killing It on a Friday. And I thought I might give that a go, but um, unfortunately, around my area, at least, there's not that many garage sales um, that operate on a Friday. Um, I think I just stick to the Saturday and Sundays. Right now, though, I'm just going to head off to the library. I'm actually going to use their Wi-Fi so I can uh, watch a few YouTube videos, you know, get that education in. And then I'm just going to use that time to relist some items. And I'm also going to dedicate an hour or so to uh, keep working on my book. Um, just got to keep writing that and um, get that finished and then I'll hopefully have that out soon. Yeah, but I'm thinking to give that book away when I finish it to everyone that's um, a member of The Green Room. So if you're not a member of The Green Room, go over to The Green Room on the Facebook page and um, become a member. Remember to give this video a huge thumbs up. That really helps me out heaps. It really does. And I really, really, really appreciate you doing that. And if you are a subscriber, thanks heaps. And if you're not a subscriber, you know what you got to do. you got to hit that subscribe button right there. It's going to help me out a lot. And I really will appreciate it. So thanks again, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.